Hello everyone. I'm Norihiro Itsubo, working for Tokyo City University. I'm in charge of Dean of Graduate School of Environment and Information Studies. Our research field is life cycle assessment. LCA is a method to visualize environmental impacts of products and services. Today, I want to introduce about our research activity briefly. First, uh, I would like to start with this picture. The World Economic Forum holds its annual Davos meeting in Switzerland, where politicians and business leaders gather to discuss the current and future direction of societies and the economy. This year, due to the new coronavirus disaster, the meeting was held in a hybrid format. This year's themes were pandemic response, economic recovery, action on climate change, technological innovation, and global cooperation. The World Economic Forum publishes an annual global risk report. The report assesses more than 30 global risks related to economics, environment, geopolitics, society, and technology. And uh, this report shows uh, the risks uh, which are most likely to occur and which are most likely to have the greatest impact. This year's report focuses on the most serious risks today in about five years and up to 10 years from now. Currently, in addition to risk related to livelihood crisis, social fragmentation, and infectious diseases, environmental risks such as extreme weather events and failure to act on climate change are highly related. It's estimated that uh, the severity of environmental risk will increase in the future. And in 10 years time in, uh, time in addition to climate change and extreme weather, biodiversity and natural resource crisis and human health hazards will also be cited, with environmental issues making up the top five. The target year for achieving the SDGs uh, is coming up in 10 years, and we can see that there is a good overlap between the 17 goals and the global risks identified by the World Economic Forum. This means that there is a big concern that failure to meet the SDGs goals will have a strong impact on the global economy. The United Nations has created a guidebook for companies to contribute to the achievement of the SDGs. This is a framework for implementation. The first step is to understand the SDGs. Then, set high priority goals and set target for corporate implementation and integrate specific activities into management. The results obtained from the activities are reported and used for internal and external communication. Data analysis is necessary for this series of activities. It's essential to obtain scientific and reliable analysis results in order to make effective decisions to achieve SDGs. The United Nations raised life cycle assessment as a method used for this analysis.
This is an explanation of LCA, uh, which is a more eco-friendly car, a gasoline car or an electric car. Gasoline-powered cars burn gasoline during use phase, which generate carbon dioxide, while electric cars run on electricity and don't generate, it, don't generate exhaust gas during the driving phase. On the other hand, the production of electric vehicle requires the use of large batteries, motors, and uh, other components that have not used in gasoline-powered vehicles. In particular, lithium-ion batteries use cobalt for the positive electrode and copper for many for the wires, which will increase the consumption of mineral resources. It's important to consider the entire life cycle when considering whether uh, gasoline or electric vehicle have a lower environmental impact. The European Commission has reported uh, the result of life cycle carbon dioxide emission calculation for several vehicle types. According to this result, the CO2 emission of a gasoline car when converted to one kilometer of driving is about 280 grams, 70% of which is accounted for by use stage, and less than 20% by the production stage. On the other hand, the total emission of electric vehicle is around 130 grams, less than half of that of gasoline vehicles. This is because the CO2 emitted uh, in the youth stage can be reduced to zero. In other words, even if the manufacturing stage increases, the effect of reducing uh, emissions in youth stage is greater. By publishing uh, these results, Europe is actively pursuing uh, policies to promote the shift to electric vehicles. Life cycle assessment is expected to promote environmental policy and environmental management by companies. But it's also attracting a great deal of attention as a research topic. Here is a trend of research papers on LCA in the world. LCA research, which started in 1990s, has been increasing especially in the last decade. And currently, uh, 4,500 papers are published annually. Currently, uh, carbon footprinting which indicate life cycle CO2 emission uh, is attracting and widely applied. But life cycle assessment focusing on water, uh, resources, and land have been increasing recently. And we recognize that assessments covering these impacts will increase in the future. In our laboratory, uh, we are developing methods for assessing environmental impacts in the life cycle assessment. When CO2 and SO2 are generated from product life cycle, they affect health and biodiversity through climate change and air pollution. The amount of damage we calculated using methods based on the latest natural science. Furthermore, the damage to, my, to human health and ecosystems will be converted into economic indicators using questionnaires and environmental economics models. We have been developing these evaluation methods uh, with the support of the Japanese government.
Uh, this is the result of the daily calculation of PM2.5 concentration in the air, which is a complex re reaction that occurs in the atmosphere when air pollutants such as uh, sulfur dioxide are emitted to form PM2.5. The concentration of PM2.5 differs depending on the region. And we can see that the amount of PM2.5 is high in China and India. The generated PM2.5 is carried by prevailing westerly winds and reach to Japan. This kind of evaluation is analyzed using a supercomputer and the results are used for LCA. Uh, by predicting uh, the concentration of PM2.5, we can analyze uh, the health effects of SO2 emissions. For example, when SO2 is emitted in the Middle East region, the increase in PM2.5 concentration can be seen not only in the Middle East, but also in South Asia and North Africa where higher uh, PM2.5 concentration increase the risk of disease, such as respiratory diseases. Uh, we can then estimate uh, the number of victims by taking into account the population density and age structure of the region, and find that uh, even though SO2 emissions are in the Middle East, the amount of uh, damage is higher in India, which has a large population. Through this kind of calculation, uh, we can calculate uh, the amount of health damage caused by SO2 emissions. Uh, climate change also has a strong impact on ecosystem. In this case, we analyzed how the distribution area of widespread plant species in Japan will change in the future due to climate change, and predicted that the distribution area will move northward by 2100. Uh, when we applied this analysis uh, to the area mainly inhabited uh, in the north, we found that Although the species will move further north uh, in 2100, the extent of their movement uh, will be limited, uh, resulting in a significant reduction uh, in their habitat. We are using uh, this kind of analysis to assess the Im impact of climate change on biodiversity. In order to integrate different environmental impacts such as health and ecology into one indicator, uh, we use analytical method in um, economics and uh, so sociology. Uh, we conducted a survey of 6,000 samples in G20 countries to convert environmental impacts into monetary values. Environmental awareness uh, differs from country to country. Uh, we visit uh, not only developed countries, uh, but also emerging countries, uh, such as India and Turkey, to conduct questionnaires and develop uh, evaluation methods that are representative of uh, the world environmental thinking. This slide shows uh, the result of our assessment of the environmental impact of automotives uh, using uh, the Im environment impact assessment method. Although uh, the impact of use and uh, production on climate change uh, is sig significant, we found that multiple environmental impacts are also Im important including loss of biodiversity uh, due to ecotoxicity and land use uh, the uh, production stage, resource recycling, 
and waste uh, disposal uh, in the use and dis uh, production stage, and uh, air pollution uh, during uh, driving. Uh, we have provided uh, the result of this assessment to the uh, Japan Automotive Manufacturer Association as a basic data uh, for efficiency reducing uh, the environmental impact of the automobiles. LCA so can be used not only for products, but also for events. Uh, we analyzed uh, the carbon footprint of Tokyo Marathon, uh, which is held every year uh, in Tokyo, uh, with 30,000 runners. We found that uh, while the CO2 emissions associated with the movement uh, of the uh, runners were indeed large, However, uh, the combined CO2 emissions uh, of the facilities uh, used by organizers, such as measuring uh, equipment and temporary toilets, safety management, advertising, and other operations were comparable, uh, comparable to the environmental impact of the movement. This experience is also being used in the environmental measures uh, for Tokyo Olympic Games. Uh, the media uh, is also paying attention uh, to the visualization of environmental information through LCA. Uh, we calculated uh, the life cycle CO2 of pet bottle and clothing and displayed uh, the result at uh, Shibuya Scramble Square so, so in the center of Shibuya. Uh, we introduced uh, the result at talk event. Uh, the carbon footprint calculation were done so by a student uh, in my laboratory uh, by participating uh, in joint research project uh, with industry. Uh, they have the opportunity to learn so the new things. LCA so is mainly used in industry. Uh, we are conducting LCA research uh, in collaboration with companies uh, to support their environment management. Here is a list uh, of this year's joint research uh, with companies. Uh, one of the most ap uh, appealing uh, as aspects of working with companies uh, is that uh, we are able to conduct research uh, in a wide variety of fields, such as chemistry, automobiles and metals, and home appliance and energy. Today, I introduced the LCA as a theme, its characteristics, and our laboratory's activities. The details uh, of our activities are available so, so on our website, so uh, please visit uh, our website if you are interested. Uh, that's all of my talk today, and thank you very much for your kind attention.